Hey, Sneaky Lance back. Yes, I'm back again. Been off a couple of days, had a cough, cold and all that, so I couldn't really do any audio recording. Well, back with Gnome Shell on Ubuntu 11.10. Now, it's the first time I've used it by choice, and I'm quite impressed. Although not everything works due to GTK3, GTK2 stuff, you know what I mean? Some of it don't all work, like some of my programs don't work. But on the whole, everybody in the house rather likes it, and have been using it full time. So yeah, it's alright. Although it can be a bit... CPU intensive when recording. Now I'm using Gnome Shell's recording for this facility here, or well, there's no audio over- overdub this, but as you can see, it's a, well, it is an old dual core machine, but it's at maxing out one of the processors. That's the only complaint I've got with it, really. But again, it is an old machine, so you know what I mean? It's an old one. No, it's older than that, it's older than old. Yeah, but on the whole, I rather like it at the moment, and I think if the Unity bike blokes don't sort it out, a lot more people are going to go over to this, and they might have. Um, Balls up basically at the end of the day, hey, don't you think? Yeah, so anyway, we're going about Chromium. It's reasonably fast on this machine. Bear in mind, I'm recording at the same time, and it's maxing out my CPUs. It's all right, you know, look, comes out for all right, and things like that. I actually got it on a quad core machine as well, but yeah, I'm not recording on that one, that's my test machine. The quad core machine is reasonably fast, I do admit that one. Go to the BBC homepage, as you can see, comes up all right, everything looks fine, hunky dory, and super duper. Yeah, what more can I say? It's lovely, isn't it, really? So, yeah, in my honest opinion, this is just my honest opinion, if the guys at Canonical don't sort this one out, Unity is going to die, isn't it, really? Because it just doesn't work when some applications and crashes and you get the blue flashing screens and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying. Of course you do. It's, you know, if you're going to record stuff like we all do if you're a screencaster, you don't want stuff working that don't work, that's supposed to work, if you know what I mean. Yes, of course you do. But I like all the, like, the uh, keyboard shortcuts, they're really nice, and you go to the corner and it minimises and maximises. So bearing in mind, it's my first time I've really used it by choice, as I said earlier. It's alright, Rafa, really, isn't it? It's all right. So yeah, I will give this one... <laughs> it's better than Unity, but this is still not right either. So you know, they've all got work to do, but this is winning for me at the moment. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the future. That's all I can say, really. Yeah, sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later, Bye.